guys, welcome to Topless Baker. This week I have got, oh, just the best recipe. We're gonna do Nutella eclairs. Now I've made a lot of eclairs in my life and I don't know if you ever have the same problem, but they crack and they look ugly and they don't stay beautifully and thin and perfect like they do in the French Parisian cafes. And I've always wondered, how on earth do they make them look so perfect every time? I have found the secret. I've got the secret and I'm gonna show you today. So cancel your flights to Paris, just cancel them. This, I'm gonna show you how to make them here now. This easy. So what I'm gonna do is into a pan, I'm gonna add some milk and some water. I'm gonna throw in salt and sugar and some butter and I'm gonna bring that to the boil. And once you've got all of that in there, you wanna bring it to a medium high heat and you wanna let that come to the boil. And as soon as it hits the boil, we're gonna add in some bread flour, okay? It's important because bread flour has more protein and that is important for the structure of your eclair. So make sure you've got bread flour. And in there, I put salt and sugar, like I mentioned. Really important because eclairs can be a little bit bland and the salt and sugar is really important to add some flavor and some tastiness. So let that come to the boil and then we'll throw in our flour. Now we're at a boil, you wanna be armed with a wooden spoon. Throw in this flour and stir constantly for two minutes, all right? Don't stop, you've gotta do a little two minute arm workout here. Stir, stir, stir for exactly two minutes. And what you're looking for is for the bottom of the pan to almost form a bit of a skin. You'll see there'll be a skin of flour along the bottom and you're just gonna keep moving this dough and you'll see it become kind of velvety and shiny. And that is what you're looking for. Okay, I'm tired now. It's been two minutes, I'm gonna take this off and you'll see at the bottom of your pan, you've got this almost film of dough. That's what you want, that's what you're looking for. We're gonna take this and we're gonna plop, plop it into our mixer. Now you could do this with a spoon if you wanted to, I think a mixer's a little bit easier. So I'm gonna get all that dough in there and then we're gonna add our eggs. And the weight of the eggs is quite important. Eclairs are quite a scientific recipe and I've got 155 grams of whole eggs in. I know that sounds really precise. It is about three eggs, three medium eggs. But if you can weigh it, it will be so much better, I promise. Down with the mixer, we've got a K beater on. I'm gonna add about a third of the eggs, keep beating it and then just add that remaining eggs until it's all combined. This is done mixing now, and you'll see what you're left with is a glossy, it should be glossy and elastic mixture, okay? It should have a little bit of hold to it, but it should fall off the spoon, it's not a spoon, it should fall off the beater in kind of a slow, swooping drop. So get that out, and we're gonna put this into a piping bag, and I've fitted this, I've fitted this with a French tip, and this is classic because it gives the ridges to the eclair. Now, if you don't have one of these tips, you can pipe it just with like a round nozzle and then take a fork and just mark the dough very gently. But if you can get yourself a tip, it will give it that kind of authentic Parisian, is that a thing? An authentic Parisian look. So I'm gonna add my dough into the piping bag. We don't need to let it cool. Now, a lot of recipes tell you to cool the dough. I'm not gonna do that because I've got a secret for you and you'll find out why in a minute. That's how we get it so Parisian. We're gonna do this guy up, we're gonna tighten it, and then I'm gonna pipe really long lines. Again, typically you would pipe little eclairs, but I've got a secret for you, okay? So I'm not gonna give it away yet. Pipe really long lines all the way along. So just pipe in a really steady motion, moving your hand away. And then once you get to the end, just kind of give it a little bit of a flick or a wiggle. Don't worry about the end because we're gonna fix that a little bit later. And now when you're done piping, I actually ended up with three and a half lines. So I lied to you, I'm sorry. I got three and a half lines of dough. And you're probably looking at me and you're saying, Matt, you've got giant eclairs. I didn't ask for giant eclairs. I want normal French Parisian ones. I've got a secret. The secret is we're gonna put these in the freezer. You're like, what are you doing? The secret is the freezer. And then we're gonna cut them into perfect eclair shapes. So we're gonna pop this in the freezer and I'll see you in one hour. Now I was a really cheeky YouTuber and I planned ahead and I made a batch earlier and it's kicked me right in the butt because <laughs> I put my tray on the freezer drawer and the tray is now frozen to the freezer drawer. So I can't actually lift this out to cut it. So this is quite a hilarious situation. So I'm gonna cut my eclairs in the freezer drawer and then we're gonna lift them out, all right? Now, usually they would not stick to the freezer drawer. This is just hilarious. And this is what I said earlier. I said, it doesn't matter if you get ugly ends to the end of your eclair, because what we're gonna do now is we're gonna chop 
the perfect sized eclair. So we can whip those ends off. So where they're ugly and bumpy and not right, we're just gonna chop it off. I'm gonna use a knife and I'm gonna cut strips that are about five and a half inches long. That's a classic eclair length, if you can get classic lengths. So I'm gonna take a knife and first of all, I'm just gonna chop the end off because we don't want that kind of ugly end. It should just cut through, it's very frozen. There we go, we're gonna get that off. So again, I'm just gonna cut down. Uh, come on, there we go. And then this should pop out and you're left with this perfectly shaped eclair with no funky ends. It's just gonna be the perfect little shape. So I'm gonna use this as a measuring stick and I'm gonna cut the rest of my eclairs until we've got a whole tray full. I've popped my eclairs out of my freezer drawer. How embarrassing, eh? That's hilarious. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, nine lovely sticks of eclairs and they are all exactly the same length. And now we need to listen carefully to the oven part. So my oven is preheated to 205 degrees C, which is about 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And in here, I've got two tablespoons of water and I've got a tray that has been heating up in my oven. As soon as I open my oven door, I'm gonna go psh, I'm gonna throw this water onto the tray to create steam in the oven, which is really important to creating a nice shell to our eclairs. We're gonna put the eclairs in straight away and we're gonna drop the oven temperature to 160 and he's gonna cook for about 30 to 35 minutes, okay? You just want them to be really nice and golden brown on the outside. And then you will be left with the perfect eclairs. Our eclairs have baked, they cook for about 35 minutes and how good do they look? Look! At that, it hasn't cracked, it hasn't exploded, it's not gone fat on one side and thin on the other. This is just perfect. It's golden brown, it's nice and flat on the bottom. I am just blown away. I'm blown away at myself. You've seen so many eclairs recipes and they just, they do look ugly. These are professional. These are pro now for the filling, I promised you Nutella and the reason I'm using Nutella is because I was gonna do some fancy hazelnut praline filling, but it just takes too long, all right? Once you've nailed this recipe, fill them with whatever you like. I don't mind if you put creme pat on them, chocolate ganache, you go wild. As long as you've got this recipe right, I'm happy. And I thought I'd do a Nutella cream because Nutella gives you the sweetness, it gives you the hazelnut, you don't need to add anything fancy to the cream, you just combine the two and it's really, really simple. So I've got here about a tablespoon of Nutella and I'm gonna put that into my cream and I'm gonna give this a whisk and I'm looking to under whip it. This is really important. Don't whip it to soft peaks because when you add it to a piping bag, you're adding more air into it so it will continue to thicken. So just whip it to slightly under soft peaks and then we can fill our shells. So my cream is done and now I need to create little holes in my eclair. So what you would typically do is you would take scissors or you would take a knife. I'm gonna use the end of a piping tip and I'm just gonna dot three holes inside the eclair along the bottom to fill it up so that you get filling all the way along and it's not kind of dry in one part. So just take the end of a piping tick and then tip, tip, and then just poke it in just like that to create a little hole. And you just want to be really gentle just so you don't go through the end and you'll see you'll end up with this perfect dinky hole for your filling. So I'm going to take my Nutella in my piping bag, my Nutella mixture, and I'm literally just going to pop it into the hole Squeeze, 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 and you'll feel it kind of fill up. You'll feel it filling up and a little bit will poke out the end. And then you just repeat this, bup, 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 filling up the other hole. And if you want, you can then pop these guys in the fridge just to let it set while we go on with everything else. Just gives it a little bit more time for this cream to kind of set up. So fill these up now. I'm gonna put them to one side. Like I said, you can pop them in the fridge and we're gonna get on with the glaze, which is the velvetiest, shiniest glaze ever. Now to make this, chocolate glaze, it's very simple. It's just three ingredients. What I've got here is some sugar syrup. This is equal parts sugar, equal parts water, which I've boiled up. So I've got about 230 ml, about a cup of sugar syrup, which I'm gonna put into a pan. And I wanna bring that to the boil. And once it's come to the boil, we're then gonna add this cocoa powder. We're just gonna whisk that through until the mixture is really smooth. So once that's hit the boil, add in your cocoa powder and we're gonna whisk that straight away just to melt everything and then we're gonna bring it back up to the boil. This chocolate syrup is really hot and steamy now. Hot and steamy? Can it be hot and steamy? It's hot and steamy. <laughs> I've got a bowl here and I've filled it with dark chocolate, 70% dark chocolate. And the size of the bowl is quite important. You want a bowl that fits your eclair in perfectly so you can dunk it. I'm gonna add about a third of this mixture 
into the middle. I'm going to create a little bit of a well. I'm going to add about a third of this mixture into there. And then I'm going to take my spoon. I just want to gently stir this. And I'm looking to melt the center of that chocolate very gently. So just stir, stir, stir. And then once that center is a little bit gooey, it's a little bit melted, we can add another third of this syrup. Pour that in. And again, give this a little stir just to incorporate everything. Now, we have got this glorious bowl of shininess, which is very important. And we've got our chilled, oh, hey, you calm down. We've got our chilled eclairs, which I've just taken out of the fridge. They've been there for five minutes while we made this. And this is the dipping part. And there's a little bit of technique to this, which I want to show you so that you can get the perfect dip to your eclair. So I'm going to pick up one of these guys. I'm going to pick this, sir, this madam first, right? And what you're going to do is you're going to take it kind of at the edge with your two fingers and you're going to dip it in and then you're going to rotate it side to side to side to side like you're rocking a boat and what that does is creates an even coverage on the sides of the eclair and then you're going to do this you're going to dunk 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 about eight times and then lift it up towards you and then you should be left with what is a beautiful shiny glossy looking eclair. And I missed a little bit here, but that's okay. Don't worry about it because we're going to cover this up. So if you miss a little bit, don't panic. I'm going to repeat this. I'm going to carry on dunking. I'm going to side to side to side, dunk, 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 lift. That's the technique. Yeah, you got it. We're at the final stage of our eclairs. Now at this point, you can stop. You can eat these unbelievably professional, basically Parisian, cancel all your flights and trips to France eclairs. You can eat them right now, but I'm going to add another element. I'm going to add more Nutella cream on top. And I've got this piping tip. I can't quite remember what the number is, so I'm going to put the number in the description box of what the piping tip is. But I'm going to create a little zigzag on top, just for extra detail. You can crush hazelnuts on top. You can do whatever you want, do whatever piping tip. This is just for some additional detail. So I'm going to put the thin end facing up, the fat end at the bottom, and I'm just going to pipe back and forth little swirls on top. So there we have it. Our professional looking eclairs. I am so happy and this recipe isn't even that difficult. That's the beauty of it. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you know I love to add gold leaf to practically anything. It could be an apple tart and I'll put gold leaf on it. So I'm going to finish these with a tiny little bit of edible gold leaf. I should have bought my tweezers because this is going to stick everywhere, but I'm going to, I'm going to pick this up with a knife. I'm just going to drop this on top there and I'm going to add gold leaf to all of my eclairs. Boom. Fancy, we should put this in fancy AF. These are so professional. Right, I'm gonna have to try one. These look amazing. This one's my favorite, I think. This one's my favorite. Look at that. We've got glorious, shiny chocolate glaze, perfectly piped Nutella cream and Nutella cream in the middle, a little bit of gold leaf. All right, excuse my excitement. Oh, look. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, I just literally ate half of it. Look at that cream in there. Loads of gooey cream on top, chocolate glaze. It was unbelievable. I shouldn't have just dropped that. Right, I hope you guys try this. I really, really hope you try this one. If you do, don't forget to tag me at Topless Baker. I'll see you next week for more Topless Baker goodness. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye. That is hot and steamy now. And now what I've got here, ah, sorry. Side, 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 side. Oh no, hang on, I've lost the grip on this one. Dunk, 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 dunk. Do the dunk dance and lift and twist. Whoa.